Okay, so this is the first time that I've logged into my uh, brand new WordPress website. Now, the first thing that I notice is that it has a comment here and it also has a post, one post. So if we go into the post section, okay, we are going to simply delete that. So all we have to do is press on trash because that is just a sample post. So that means that we've got a clean WordPress website. Okay, so a couple of the things that we have to do now is go through the settings of the website. Um, and we also need to, you know, um, put some plugins in and change the theme and make it beautiful. But first we'll go to the settings menu here, just click on that and you'll see this here. So the first thing is the general settings, okay? So we can just have a quick look at this where I have put the name here, Best WordPress Themes. Okay, so that's the name of the website, that's fine. Um, then I've got a tagline in there and in the tagline I've used my keywords again. So I've got them twice. Okay, now here we can decide whether we want to use the www dot right or just go straight like that now um, it used to be that you had to have the www in front of your name but you don't now now this makes it a little bit shorter and easier so I'm gonna go with that okay then we've got my email address here okay so that's fine so you can check that if you want to now um, you can change it, uh, update it or whatever you want to do. Alright, now this one here it says membership. Now if you press anyone can register um, you need to have some kind of security on your website because people will be registering like crazy and also um, you'll get spam and stuff. So you can tick that box but you need to um, get a security plugin but if you're just a new person at this so just keep it unticked so people cannot just go in and register okay now when just say you did tick it if um, a person did register they would automatically become a subscriber um, that's okay that means that they'll probably get updates sent to them and stuff but um, you do not want to make them an administrator, an editor or an author or even a contributor. Um, because one time I had a blog set to contributor and people were registering and just putting, filling up my website with spam articles. So just remember that um, this is quite an important setting right here. Okay. Um, I'll skip these, just leave them, the date format, you can muck around with that if you want to, but there's no point, okay? The time format, blah, 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 right? So if you've changed anything, just press save settings or save changes at the bottom. Right, so now we go on to the writing section in the settings, okay? Okay, so now at the moment, um, 20 lines for the post box now what this means is, I'm just going to right click on the posts and open in a new tab. Now when you're writing a post, this is the space that you have to write your article in. Okay, so I'm going to go to my thing. Now just say I wanted to add a new post, I'll press on this. And the add new post comes up and you can put your title and your writing in here and all that. Now the thing is this space between here and here is 20 so if you double it and make it 40 then you'll be able to see more. Some people have it on 10 and you can only see half as much as that and it's quite difficult. Okay um, I'm going to come back and show you how to make a new post later okay because that's going to be a separate video all right that was just one thing because we're on the settings thing at the moment right so the next setting um, convert emotions yes you can do that it's not important 
this one here once you have put the categories in you should come and change this default post category um, because just say you forget to choose a category for your post well it will be put in the uncategorized section and you don't want that um, for this website it's called best WordPress themes I would make a category called best WordPress themes and make that the default post category okay because that means that anything that doesn't get categorized will go into there and at least it's in somewhere okay um, we've got different ones here I'm just gonna leave it on standard we can't go into everything here as you can see um, not everything is important okay so we'll go down now I don't even fill this out I can skip it but if you've got a pop 3 account or whatever you want to put in there go for it now remote publishing um, we, we don't need that at the moment but um, if you do want to publish from some other place you're going to have to enable it um, the pinging services if you don't know what to do it is fine to keep it at that um, in my ebook that I give away for free on building a WordPress website you'll be able to see more details about that pinging um, how to put more pinging services in there and stuff like that okay we'll go to the reading section okay now this is um, where you set your front page display settings so what happens is um, just say you got a blog just like me because you've probably been to my website um, it's set to my latest posts here but if I wanted to have a landing page or something like that I could choose from posts that I've made to make that the home page okay or it could be a post or a page right so um, at the, at usually I just leave it for your latest post yeah unless you want to do a landing page or something like that okay um, this is how many blog posts or pages will show up on the front page and um, this is the ones for the RSS feed and that now this one's pretty important because you can adjust it so you might want five posts showing or you might want 15 so you're gonna have to come back and edit that one alright now make sure you press save changes if you have changed anything now I'm just gonna quickly go through the discussion settings now because this is totally up to you now the one that I do recommend is that you enable threaded comments and um, probably five is a good amount there that means that people can reply to each other and it stays within a nest together okay so you can follow a conversation it's quite important actually because if you don't have threaded comments enabled um, it can get quite confusing who's talking to who and stuff like that um, you can also break the comments into pages I do not like to do that um, because I think comments are valuable and I like to show them all so I don't tick that now that's totally up to you um, also it's got here automatically close comments on articles older than so many days now that's up to you as well because when you do get busy and your blog gets busy you might need to close the comments because you would rather be answering comments on newer posts um, and the older posts will get in the way of you know your production and stuff like that um, you can choose your users to be logged in to comment and stuff like that so I'll let you go through it um, there's also a blacklist there which is good and also down here the other thing is an avatar now if you're trying to make your website load quicker I would suggest that you use a blank avatar for users that don't have one okay because you're just putting a picture there for no reason um, you can also use any of these pictures as well but like I said for loading purposes I would use the blank one 
Um, also have a look at these settings here. You can just choose to don't show avatars and stuff like that. So press save changes. Okay, now we'll go down, we'll skip the media, uh, we'll check out the privacy settings. Um, it says I would like to be visible by the search engines. Now you can shut that off if you want to, if you want to work on your website and get it ready for the world. Um, that's up to you. Right, now permalinks. Now this is pretty important. The reason it's important is because you don't want your posts looking like this. Um, WordPress, best WordPress themes .net, post equals 123 right you don't want that you want um, let's just click on this this is what you actually want this is the one that I use I use post name okay so what I'm gonna get is um, the the domain name slash and the post name okay which is usually got its keywords in it and stuff like that so this is what I use. I don't put year or anything like that. I don't put archives. I don't put anything else because I do not like putting a year in there because I might grab a post from 2009 um, and I might fix it up and repost it. Now if I had a date in there that would mean um, if I wanted to repost it, it would change the URL of the post. Okay, so this is what I do. Um, I'm sure there are different ways of doing it, but I just have it simple, straight, and just have the post name. So I'm going to press Save Changes there. Alright, now that's enough settings for now there, the basic settings. Um, in the next video we will probably create categories and then go on to add some plugins. Okay, see you later.